Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Capital Markets Report. Today is Wednesday, March 19th, 2008. According to Trade Finance, BNP Paribas signed a $30 million credit line with Georgia's TBC Bank to invest in Georgian companies. BNP Paribas, head of Turkey, Central Asia and Caucasus Export Finance, said that the agreement between the two banks would promote Georgia's private sector. It would also help companies import equipment for, uh, from foreign manufacturers. TBC Bank is also receiving $10 million in subordinate credits from the German investment and development company and $30 million from BNP Paribas. Staying with capital market news, California High Speed Rail Authority issued a request for expressions of interest in a local public-private partnership for a train. The funding for the project is expected to include federal and state financing as well as private investment. The system will cater to as many as 117 million passengers by the year 2030. The full scope of the project would cover an 800-mile route from Sacramento to San Francisco. Francisco Bay Area down through San Diego. The authority is, uh, is to hold a preliminary meeting on March uh, 27th for interested parties. Expressions of interest are to be submitted by May 1st. And in more capital markets news, Bloomberg News says the China, offshore, uh, the China National Offshore Oil Corporation is actively pushing forward the acquisition of independent refineries to expand into oil processing. The spokesman of China National Offshore says the company is doing due diligence on several rather private, uh, rather big privately owned processing plants in eastern China's Shandong province. China National Offshore is buying so-called teapot refineries to, to diversify from oil exploration and tap the nation's surging fuel demand. And in other capital markets news, the Aluminum Corporation of China is considering increasing its holding. The corporation jointly bought a 9% stake in Rio Tinto Group with Alcoa. According to their spokesman, they are in talks with Alcoa on the issue. At the news conference in Shanghai, the spokesman also said that this will not be their last acquisition overseas. A stake increase may make it more difficult for BHP uh, Billiton to succeed in its $133 billion takeover offer for Rio, the world's third largest mining company. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our Capital Markets channel online and read the latest developments.